everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this cute little baby bonnet. This is more of a vintage type of bonnet with a very frilly edge. And it's super cute and super fun to make. It's super easy too. So I'll get into the supplies we need and then uh, answer some uh, questions I get frequently. And then we'll get into making this cute little piece. So big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn for this project. This is called Scrubby Smoothie. And it is super soft cotton. It is so luscious and I absolutely love it. I'm using two different colors. Uh, this main color is called Lufa. And then I'm using just a little bit of my other color which I don't have the label for but it's called aqua so you can use those two colors or any two colors that you like uh, preferably cotton because it's soft on a baby's head and it's just super cute um, and uh, very light also I am using some ribbon you can see here this is the type of ribbon offre uh, ribbon and it this one has like a frilly edge too so it's like um extra frill on this but I do have this yarn or this uh, ribbon as well same offre but it is just plain so you can use any type of ribbon that you'd like um, for your bonnet and today I'm using an H size crochet hook which is five millimeters and this super fancy hook I got at the Etsy shop would be fancy it's an ergonomic hand carved wooden handled crochet hook and it is super fabulous you can get these uh, just by clicking the link in the description of this video uh, to the Etsy shop would be fancy and make sure you like their Facebook page too um, they have all different sizes and different uh, types of uh, crochet hook handles and you can get for left-handed or right-handed and any way you hold your um, handle it really is universal it's really great so those are awesome hooks so H size hook for this project also you're going to need a scissor and a yarn needle just for cutting your yarn and sewing in your ends especially when we change color so often um, we are going to sew in our ends so this is the project we're going to be working in rounds first and then we're going to be working in rows back and forth and then we're going to make this frilly edge last so we start in the center back right here. So this um, bonnet, let me get my measure tape here. The center back, let's see here, one, two, three. The first four rounds, because we're working in the first, in the rounds for the first four rounds, is approximately five inches across. And five inches across is about 13 centimeters. Okay, so that's how big that is. Now, if you need to make this bigger or smaller, use a bigger or smaller crochet hook. I really don't have um, hook sizes, or I'm sorry, stitch counts um, for smaller sizes. But this will fit a baby. You can obviously tighten this so it will fit um, basically like a 6 to 12 month old baby. Okay, so that's super cute. So those are all the questions and answers um, that I usually get, just basically just sizing. But uh, make sure you check out the links in the description of this video. You'll have the link to the written pattern on yarnutopia.com. There will be also a link to my Facebook, Instagram, all my Snapchat, all my social media. Make sure you're following me. And if you make this bonnet, be sure to share your photos and hashtag Yarn Utopia. All right, big thank you to Red Heart Yarns. Big thank you to my dad back there filming. And big thank you to you for watching. Let's get started and make this cute little bonnet. Alright, let's start with our main color loofah and make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down, and then pull your long end through and pull tight. And there's your slip knot. Insert your hook and we can begin. So let's start out by chaining four. Now if you want to, you can start out with a magic ring um, and then chain up two and go on to round one. But I'm going to start out by chaining four. So yarn over, pull through, one, two three and four and then go into the very first chain way over here and make a slip stitch to form a ring so go in and then yarn over and pull it through that loop and through the loop on your hook and that's a slip stitch and you can see here is a ring right there okay now we are going to go on to round one let's chain up two so one and two and we are going to make something called a beginning cluster stitch. So a beginning cluster will be a yarn over, go into the ring, then yarn over and pull it through, 
then yarn over and pull through only two loops on your hook. We have two loops on the hook right now. Yarn over, go back in, then yarn over and pull it through, then yarn over and pull through only two loops on your hook, okay? And we're gonna do that one more time. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So now we have four loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. And that is a beginning cluster because it actually looks like there's four uh, posts in there. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and then that fourth one there. So we are going to make a four double crochet cluster um, three more times around this, but we want to um, chain two in between these. So chain two, one, and two. And now we're going to make a four double crochet cluster. So yarn over, go into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to do that four times. So that was one, here's two, here's three, and again, there's four. Perfect. Now yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. Okay, there's a cluster. Now we're going to chain th uh, two here, one and two, and make another one of those clusters. So yarn over, go back into the ring, and yarn over, pull through the two only. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, two more times doing that. And then yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And then chain two. One and two. And we're gonna do that one more time. So you can see here's the sides. There's one, two, three, and then we're gonna make a fourth side here. So those chain two spaces are actually our corners. Okay, so let's make Oh, one more cluster here. Two, three, whoopsie. Got my straggler cut in there. And four. Okay, so yarn over, pull through all five loops. And then to finish this round, we are going to chain two, one and two. And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna ignore this chain two right here and we're gonna go into the actual cluster stitch right at the top here. Go in, yarn over, and pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Just like that, okay? And that was round one. Now for round two, we are going to slip stitch into the chain two space. So right in here, go in, then yarn over, pull through, and pull through. So now we are in a chain two space, okay? And what we're going to do is, let's see here. It says to chain up three, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. And that chain up three counts as a stitch. It counts as our first double crochet. And in the same space here, we are going to put a double crochet. So yarn over, go into the same chain two space, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops. That's a double crochet. Next, we're gonna chain two, one and two, and then put two more double crochets into that same chain two space. So there's one, okay, another double crochet, yarn over, go in, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So in this first chain two space, it looks like a double crochet, another double crochet, then chain two, and then two more double crochet, all in that chain two space. Now we're going to chain two, one and two, hop over to the next chain two space here, and we are going to put the same amount of stitches. Put two double crochets, one and two, then chain two, one and two, and then put two more double crochets in there, one and two. Okay, so just chain two now, one and two, and then hop to this next chain two space here and do the same thing, then chain two and do the same thing in this chain two space. And when I finish, I'm gonna chain two and I'll meet you up when I'm gonna slip stitch to the beginning. 
Okay, finishing round two, we're just gonna chain that two and then slip stitch to the beginning chain up three stitch right here. So go into this front loop and then this back loop, yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook as well. So that slip stitches that and closes that round. Round two should have 16 stitches around. So now what we're going to do is actually we're going to slip stitch into the space between these two um, stitches. So you can see that it looks like a two double crochet grouping right here, this uh, chain up three and this first double crochet. We're going to spread them apart and then we're going to slip stitch into that little gap right there. So between the posts. Okay, just like that. And now what we're going to do is chain up one. And for round three, in this space between these two stitches, we are going to make a seven loop puff stitch. So a seven loop puff stitch means um, seven loops need to be on your hook, okay? So a, a puff stitch, we're going to yarn over, so there's already two loops on our hook, go into that space between those two stitches, then yarn over and pull it through. So now there's three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over again, go back in, then yarn over and pull through. Now there's five loops on our hook. And we have to do it one more time. Yarn over, go in, yarn over and pull through. And now there are seven loops on our hook. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all seven of those loops. And that is a seven loop puff stitch. Now we're going to chain one to close it. And then we're going to chain another one between the stitches there. So the finish, the finishing of the puff stitch is to chain one to close it. And in the pattern it says chain one after. So it's actually basically a puff stitch and then chain two. Here's one to close the stitch and that finishes off the puff stitch and then chain another one between the stitches. I hope that's not too confusing for you because in the pattern it says puff stitch and then chain one. So it's actually this little puff here and then uh, chain one to close it and then another chain for the chain one. So that's how it's kind of written in the pattern. Then we're going to puff stitch into the chain two space right here. So this chain two space we're going to yarn over, go into that chain two space, yarn over and pull through, and do that until seven loops are on your hook. So again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. And another time, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. So now there's seven loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all seven of those loops, chain one to close it, and then chain one to go on to the next stitch. And you can see these two double crochets right here, we're gonna separate those, and we are going to put a seven double, or I'm sorry, a seven loop puff stitch in there. So yarn over, go in between these stitches here, and make your seven loop puff stitch. And then we're just going to chain the one to close the stitch, and then chain one between the stitches there. And then in this next chain two space, we're just repeating what we did now. So just puff stitch in each chain two space, and puff stitch between each stitch. Now make sure you chain those two. The first one is to close the stitch and the second one is the chain one there. And then just puff stitch between the stitches here. Okay, so do that all the way around. At the end of round three, you will have 16 puff stitches. Okay, just like that. And there should be those chain spaces as well. So I'm going to do that and then I'll meet you up. We'll go on to round four. Alright, when you finish this round, just be sure to slip stitch to the first puff stitch. So right in the actual stitch, so ignore this chain up one here. Go into the actual stitch, and then, oops, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. So now what we're going to do is for the next round, round four, we're going to chain up three. One, two two and three and that's going to count as our first double crochet of this round and in the same stitch right there we're going to double crochet so yarn over go back into where we slip stitched and just make a double crochet in there just like that 
Now in this chain space right here, we are going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go into the chain two space. I'm going to call them chain two spaces because that's what essentially they are. <laughs> and we're going to put two double crochets in there. Now in this actual stitch, I know you might have to scoot these over to see the actual stitch is right here. I know it looks like it's off to the right a little bit and this looks like the actual stitch but this is actually the chain one that closes the stitch, okay? So we're gonna work in the actual stitch right here. And what we're going to do is put two double crochets into the stitch, into the next puff stitch right here. One and two into the stitch, just like that. And then we're gonna hop over to this chain space and put two double crochets in this chain space. Now if that is a little too difficult for you to put stitches into this actual stitch right here, um, you can put four double crochets into each chain space and that should be okay as well if it's too difficult for you to get into the actual stitch there. But uh, at the end of this round, regardless, you're going to need 64 stitches. So make sure that you do it that way. Um, either do two double crochets in the chain space and then two double crochets in the actual stitch, in the actual puff stitch. Or you can just put four double crochets in each chain space. That's totally up to you, I guess. So do that and then um, I'll meet you up at the end of this round and we'll go on to actually working in rows next. Alright, when you're finishing this round, make sure to put the two double crochets in the last chain space and then slip stitch to the top of this chain three stitch right here. Go in to the top, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Now, just like that previous row down here, we slip stitched into this uh, space between the double crochets, we're going to do that right here. So after this double crochet stitch here, or this chain of three stitch that looks like a double crochet. We're gonna go into that space between the two stitches, yarn over, pull through, and through. So now we're in between those two stitches right there. And they both look like they're worked into this puff stitch. So th this will be your two double crochet grouping. And we're working in there now. So we're gonna be working in a row now. This is row five in the pattern. And we're going to chain one. And in this space between the two uh, stitches, we are going to make a seven loop puff stitch. Okay, so similar to this row down here, yarn over, go into this space, then yarn over, pull through, and do that until there's seven loops. So there's five and seven. Then yarn over and pull through all seven loops, and then just chain one to close it. Now you can see the next grouping, which it, the next two double crochet grouping, which is in this chain space right here. So we're going to separate those two and we're going to work our uh, puff stitch into that space right there. So basically skip two stitches. So skip this stitch here and this stitch here and go in between right here and make your next puff stitch right in here. So you can see the two double crochet grouping which is worked into this chain space. So we're going to go into there and make a seven loop puff stitch. So there's three, five, and seven. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops and chain one to close it. Okay, we're going to do this until we have 25 puff stitches. Okay, so this is our first one here. Here's our next one. See the next two stitches that are a grouping right here because they're worked into this puff stitch right here. We're going to separate those two and we're going to make our puff stitch in there. So three, five, seven loops, yarn over, pull through all seven loops and chain one to close it. And then hop to the next two double crochet grouping in this chain space right here. Separate those and make your puff stitch in there. And we want to do this, like I said, until we have 25 puff stitches. So I'm going to do that. Just chain one to close it. Hop to the next grouping right here. Separate the two and make your puff stitch. So I'm going to do that and then I'll meet you up at the end of row five. 
All right, finishing this row, you're just going to make your last puff and then chain one. We're going to fasten this off, so we're going to change color now. So I'm going to cut this just like that, pull it all the way through, and pull it tight. Okay, so that secures it. And let's see here, it says um, do not turn. We're going to go back to this side right here. Okay, whoopsie, there we go. <laughs> right in here, and we're going to start our next row, row six, in this first, um, let's see here, in the first stitch. So you see, skip chain ones across and put two double crochet in each puff stitch. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I was just reading my pattern here. So we're going to go into the first puff stitch right here. Okay, so not this chain one. We're going to go into the puff stitch right there. And I'm grabbing my other yarn and we're going to hook that on and pull it through. And then for this row, row six says to chain up three. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. And that counts as our first double crochet. And we are going to double crochet into that same space, into the same stitch. So it's two double crochets in that first stitch right there. Now we're going to skip this chain one right here and we're going to put two double crochets in the very next stitch. So yarn over, go into the actual puff stitch. And I know this looks like the actual stitch right here, but that's actually the chain one to close it. So it's actually this stitch right here. This is the actual stitch. Okay, so we're going to put two double crochets into there. Just like that. Then we're going to skip this chain one right here and go into this stitch right here and put two double crochets and just do that all the way across just put two double crochets into each puff stitch all the way across this row and at the end of this row we are going to fasten this off and change color oh at the end of row six you should have 50 stitches so count your there should be two um, double crochets in each stitch and there's 25 of these puff stitches so that equals 50 is 25 times two double crochets. So we are going to have 50 stitches at the end of this row. And once we finish row six, I'll show you how to fasten off. We'll change color and go on to round se or row seven. Okay, I'm just putting uh, two double crochets in that last puff stitch there. There's our chain one where we fastened off there before, so just leave that unworked. Don't worry about that. And we are going to chain one here with this uh, yarn, and we're going to cut it, and we're going to change color again. So pull that through and pull it tight. For this next row, row seven, we are going to turn our work around. So now we're looking at the back of our work okay or the wrong side okay I quote that because it's like the wrong side that they they say the back side is the wrong side and then this side is the front side and to see that you can see that these stitches you can see them at the top here that's your right side but when you flip this around you can't see those anymore okay so though that's on this is the back side or the wrong side and then if you flip it around you can see those sideways V's right there those are the right side, okay? So we're going to flip this around, look at the back of your work, and go on to row seven. It says to uh, slip stitch into the space between the two double crochet grouping right here. So these are the two double crochet grouping right here. We're going to go into the space between them right there and go in. And we are going to use our uh, lighter color, the loofah, this off-white color here, and just hook that on and then chain up one. Okay, we're going to make puff stitches in this round. So we are going to do a seven loop puff stitch into that same space. So yarn over, go into that space, yarn over, pull through. So there's three, do that again, five loops, and again for seven loops. Then yarn over, pull through all seven loops. And then it says to, let's see here, chain one to close it and then chain one in between the stitches. So basically chain two, <laughs> okay? And then puff stitch between these next two uh, stitches here. This next, they look like a V stitch almost. If you look at it, the two double crochet grouping, spread it apart and then puff stitch in there. So three, 
five loops and seven loops. Yarn over, pull through all seven loops, and then chain two, one, two. And then hop to the next space right here, this next uh, V, it looks like a V, I'm gonna call them V stitches here, V stitch. Go spread them apart and put your puff stitch in there. And we're just gonna puff uh, stitch between all the two double crochet groupings and make sure to chain those just chain one to close the stitch and then chain another one for between the stitches just like that okay and do that all the way across here at the end of this row we are going to fasten this color off and change back to the blue color all right when you make your last puff stitch make sure to chain one and that's in between this last grouping here and we are going to fasten this off so let's cut your yarn and pull it through that chain one and then pull tight now for this next row we are going to turn our work around so we're looking at the right side of our work the right, the outside of your work and we are going to um, repeat row six okay so actually we're going to be repeating for rows eight through twelve so 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, the next five rows, we are going to repeat rows 6 and 7. So it's row 6, 7, 6, 7, 6. So we'll end on a row repeat row of row 6. So it's uh, row 8 is going to be a repeat of row 6. Then row 9 is going to be a repeat of row 7. Then row 10 is going to be a repeat of row 6. And row 11 is going to be a repeat of row 7. And then row 12, it will be a repeat of row 6. Make sure you turn your work for each row. So on the even rows, rows 8, 10, and 12, you're looking at the right side of your work. And rows 9 and 11, you're going to be working, looking at this side, the back side of your work. So make sure you turn your work every row and you can fasten off and change color each row exactly how I showed you. So now I'm going to grab this um, bluish color here and we're going to start, you can start in this side. I know on uh, this um, row here, we started on the same side here. Uh, which was the opposite of the fasten off because we fastened off over here but we started row six on this side which is fine so just start row six and each row after on this side okay so we're gonna go on the, this side because we're working that way anyway so it would just make sense to work on this side so we're gonna go hook on our yarn then chain up three and then double crochet in the same stitch and then hop to the next puff stitch here and not in the chain space or the chain right there we're gonna go into the the stitch actually and if you I mean if you wanted to you could put two double crochets in each chain space and that would be fine too but I'm going in the actual stitch so um, just making sure that we have the right amount of stitches. Let's see, 50 stitches across. We should have 50 stitches for um, row, rows 8, 10, and 12. You should have the 50 stitches. So make sure you do. And just do the repeat of those two rows, rows 6 and 7. End on a repeat of row 6. And I will meet you up when I finish row 12. Once you are finished with row 12, you want to chain one. We're going to cut this yarn and change our color back to the loofah, the off-white color. So pull that through and pull it tight. So this is what it should look like so far. Okay, your piece looks like a little bonnet. You could end here, you know, and um, just weave in your ribbon and have that all nice I did sew in my ends as I went so let me grab my yarn needle I'll show you I just um, sewed in my ends as I went just like when I fastened off I cut my yarn and did that and so what I'm doing is just yarning my needle okay and then I'm going to just go into the stitches on the inside okay just like that and sewing it in and then you can cut any extra 
and then stretch it out to make sure it's all hidden nicely. So now what you want to do is look at the outside, the right side of your work. And again, remember how I showed you earlier, if you can see these stitches, this is the outside or the right side, okay? So what we want to start in this first stitch right here, this chain up three stitch is where we want to start for our border. So our outline is going to be this round. We are going to single crochet all the way around this piece. So we're going to start in this chain three stitch and we are going to hook on our yarn. Okay. And then we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet. So go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And that's a single crochet. Okay. So we're going to single crochet into each stitch across this row. And then once I get into the very last stitch of this row, I will come back because I'll show you what to do next. So just single crochet until all the way across here until you get to this corner. Okay. And I'll meet you back up when I get there. All right. With that, when you have one stitch left on this row, just put three single crochets in the last stitch of this row. So one, two, and three. And now you can see that I'm actually turning it this way because we are going to work along this edge and we're going to clean it up. So wherever your hook fits is where you should, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> is where you should single crochet. And that's what I was trying to say. And I knew I was going to sneeze. I'm sorry, guys. So just um single crochet along this edge here and basically yeah wherever your hook fits <laughs> is where you should <laughs> single crochet so i'm just gonna single crochet along here but then once you get to this part right here where this circle um was again you can just work in each one of these stitches Okay, and then along this edge, wherever your hook fits is where you should single crochet. And then I'll meet you up um, at that point uh, when we are finishing this edge. Um, we're not going to change color though. We're just going to be working in rows. We're just cleaning up this edge right now. So it's just a single crocheted edge, just like this. And then once I come to the very end of this round, it's basically around the whole bonnet. So once I come to the end of this round, we will meet again and then we'll go on to the next uh, row of the border. All right, so when you come back to the beginning here, we're going to still put two single crochets in the same stitch as this beginning right here, this first stitch. So go back into that same stitch if you can. There we go and put two single crochets in there. Okay. Then we're going to slip stitch to this first single crochet right here. So go in, yarn over, pull through and pull through. And now what we're going to do is row two of the border. So if you don't want the frilly edge, you can fasten off here and have your cute little bonnet just be a plain edge and it's super cute just like this. But I want to have a frilly edge, like a vintage style. That's why it's called the vintage bonnet. So what we're going to do is uh, chain up one here and we're going to single crochet into the same stitch right here. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay. Then what we're going to do is chain three, one, two, three. We're going to skip only one stitch and we're going to single crochet into the next. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. And we're going to do that all the way across only to this next corner. Okay, so just across the front of the bonnet. So chain three, one, two, three, skip one stitch and then single crochet into the next. Then chain three, skip one stitch, single crochet in the next. And at the end, uh, once you make it all the way around this whole part here to this next, this corner, so we're just going to go from here across to this corner here, you should have, let me see how many times 25 
of these chain three spaces okay so I'm just gonna make 25 of these chain three spaces skipping one stitch and then single crocheting in the next then chaining three skipping one single crocheting in the next so I'm gonna do that and then I'll meet you up when I get to that corner okay <laughs> just finishing my last uh, chain three space and then I'm gonna skip this stitch and then slip stitch or single crochet into the last stitch here so I do have the 25 of these chain three spaces if you have one or two more or less um, it's okay you'll still get the same effect uh, as you would um, having the 25 anyway so now we're gonna go on to row two so we're leaving the rest of these stitches on the bo on the bottom part of the um, bonnet we're leaving those unworked okay so we're not going to be working those so what we're going to do is turn our work so we're looking at the inside of the bonnet and what we're going to do is slip stitch into the first chain three space so go right into this first chain three space yarn over pull through and pull through and then we're going to chain two one and two now nothing else is going to be worked into that chain three space so we're going to hop to the next chain three space and we are going to put let's see here row two uh two half double crochets chain two and two more half double crochets into the next chain three space so yarn over go into this chain three space here yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops on your hook and that's a half double crochet so there's one so yarn over go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and there's another one now chain two one two and then put two more half double crochets into that same chain three space so in that chain three space it has two uh two half double crochet chain two and two half double crochets now we're going to hop to the next chain three space right away and we are going to put the same stitches so in the next chain three space put two half double crochets chain two and then two half double crochets and you're going to do that for all the chain three spaces across okay so it's going to start getting pretty frilly uh, which is exactly what we want <laughs> so next chain three space I'm already in there we're putting two half double crochets chain two and two half double crochets and then hopping to the next chain three space and doing the same thing so do that all the way across and then I'll meet you up for the last round or row of this uh, bonnet all right, so I just did my last um, two half double crochet, chain two, and two half double crochet in the last chain space. Now, I know in our first chain space we just chained up two, but it's only because of the next row, and you won't even notice that on our next row. So what we're going to do right now is actually no chaining, just turn your work. Okay, so we're looking at the outside, or the right side of our work, and we are going to yarn over okay like we're gonna chain one but we're not we're going to yarn over we're gonna work in the chain two space right here and we are going to put six half double crochets into this chain two space so yarn over go in yarn over pull through and yarn over and pull through all three loops just like that so that is our first half double crochet we didn't even have to chain or anything so there's one here's two Here's three, four, five, and six, all in that same chain two space. Now you can see these gap, this gap right between the groupings here, right above this single crochet. We are going to single crochet into that gap. So right in here, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So there is, it's kind of like a petal, okay, of the ruffle. So now we're going to hop to this chain two space right here and put six half double crochets into the chain two space. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. I know I'm going a little fast. You can always pause this if I'm going too fast. And then go into the gap between the groupings. So right above this single crochet. We're going to go into this gap and make a single crochet. And that's the repeat right there. So just go into the next chain two space, make your six half double crochets, then single crochet between the groupings in the gap, and then just 
continue on the repeat. So I'm going to do that all the way across and when I'm about to fasten off I will meet you up and we'll go on to the next step together. All right, when you're finished with this row here, uh, making your last six half double crochet in that chain two space, to single crochet in the end, we're gonna uh, go in this chain up two stitch right here. And remember I said that earlier, we're gonna work in that. We are going to single crochet in there, or you can slip stitch, it's totally up to you. But I'm gonna just single crochet, and then we're gonna chain one and cut our yarn, because we are finished. We're gonna pull that through and pull it tight. Grab your yarn needle and just yarn your needle with that end and sew in your ends. I highly recommend you know sewing in your ends as you go and the very last thing we have to do is uh, get a ribbon and go around the edge of this. Now I'll show you how to weave that in. Let me just uh, weave this in first and um, we can weave in the ribbon. Oops. I gotta get me a new I keep saying that too in all of my videos. I need a new thing. Here I got this one. So just cut your yarn there. Okay, oh I have this end too. Cut any extra yarn uh, yarn ends that you may have. Be careful with your scissors too. I should cut away from you. There you go. Okay, now I have this frilly ribbon. You can use a plain ribbon or this frilly ribbon. And I have this yarn needle which is probably better. I should just keep using this one. So I'm just going to yarn my needle with this. Okay, and then we're going to go on round 12, or row 12 of our bonnet, and we're going to go into the gaps here, and we're going to go into the first one, but then we're going to go underneath two of these groupings and go out that next one. Then we're going to continue that all the way across, so skip two, and then go under two groupings and come out the next one, just like that. Okay, all the way across, so skip two, go under two, skip two, go under two, so skip two, go under two, and go, oops, go over two, under two, and then through the last one, I just have this um, one, so I'm just going to go under actually this and the next double crochet all the way to the very end. Okay, you won't even notice or see it. So just like that. Okay, then you want to make sure, stretch it out, make sure that it is even on both ends and it's long enough to tie a bow. Okay, and then the ends, you just want to cut evenly just like this and on an angle oh that wasn't very good I'm trying to go really fast sorry guys just on an angle like this to make it pretty okay and now you have two just like that perfect and there it is your vintage style bonnet is complete Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this super fabulous piece. That was so much fun. Make sure if you do make this, please share your photos on Facebook and Instagram. Big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for the yarn for this project today. Big thank you to my dad behind me for uh, filming and editing this tutorial and posting it up for everybody here at Yarn Utopia. And big thank you to you for watching. Until next time, happy hooking!